Hey guys, it's Kilobeard back with more Soul Reaver. We're right exactly where we left off last time. The Drowned Abbey. Okay, this place is a platforming nightmare, basically. It's really not that long to get through if you do it all perfectly in one go. Uh, so, you know, what you guys are going to see, the edited video, <laughs> is going to be me just sailing through it perfectly on the first try. I, that's not going to happen in real life. You so much as touch the water. Okay, maybe that's not exactly accurate. You can touch the water. But, yeah. Th there's a lot of awkward sequences here. No! I thought I had the, uh... Oh, God. Of course. Damn. It's got these spit attacks. I don't care. I don't need to be solid after this door, so I'm kind of not too worried about it. Just need enough soul to get me through. Where'd this guy go? What are you doing over here, man? Whatever. Okay. I'm just charging through. There are, are what look like side paths there. They're not real side paths. They don't lead you anywhere. One of them is just a way to get back up out of the water if you fell in the water. And the other one isn't even a path at all. It's just a dead end. And there is a soul portal there. So, this room. Right where I'm standing, if you're in the spirit realm, there's a soul portal. We don't need it right at this moment. We need to get across this water without touching the water. Kind of awkward, especially with no analog control, but it's cool. So, you can see what I did there. It's always easier to jump and then do the glide. Oh god, why? Just pure jumping. Almost all the time when I just jump, I end up in the run animation when I land and it just continues past the tiny little piece of terrain I was supposed to land on. And I end up going wherever, dropping off. So if you if you jump and you do the the wing glide thing, oh my god! All right, let's get this right. So awkward without being able to control the camera properly. Okay, so you get to this pillar, you have to shift. And the whole world changes. Okay, I'm trying to point in the correct direction here. Can I do it? No! Alright, got it. And then last one. You gotta do a crouch jump and then sail across over here. Get. Oh, god damn it. And crouch jump. Go! Do it! Yes, we... M no! <laughs> what are you doing to me? Come on! And we made it fucking finally. Jesus. Oh my god. So yeah, like I said, this is place is some crazy platforming nightmare. Oh, man. It's so awkward and finicky so you have no control over the camera in this game like it just follows you you don't have right stick camera control like you would in normal platformers but then and that's okay except for the fact that all of your movement is relative to the camera so it can just change on you at any moment and then change the context of your commands while you're doing them Anyway, you, you get to this room. Oh my god. Well, I guess I have to fight these dudes now. Get to this room. Go up to the end here. There's this weird bit that pokes out. You can jump up on, and you jump up here. Oh my god, there's a spirit portal. Yep. Climb this wall. And we get up to this alcove. Right here, near the ceiling. And this... Shows us where we have to go next. Guess what, guys? It's more platforming. We have to jump across all these rafters. So, I'm gonna skip the first one to be awesome. Uh, okay, good. 
So if you just jump straight up in the air and then glide, that should be the exact right distance for getting you to the next one. Yes. Okay, good. Now we get to this room. There are two bad guys in here. I just... I don't even care. I don't fight them because I come back through this room so many times, it ends up not mattering. And we get up here. Come on. Okay. Yes, if you just jump. No! Okay. If you screw it up like I just did and you fall off those gargoyle heads, fountain heads, whatever, and you touch the roof, you slide down here. Which is obviously a problem. Eat these guys. You can see here there's another way to go. This grate here. Don't do this. Do not be fooled. If you walk through here, you're back at the start of the level. And you cannot come back through this gate because the ground is not at the same level on the other side. So just just don't do it. Okay. Let's walk back through here to that room. I'm keeping this in because I want to show you guys how you recover if you screw it up. You walk back through here to get into this room. Which brings you back into that big main hall. And at the far end of here is where you can jump up to get us to the soul portal. Right here. And then we jump the rafters again and try again. Okay, we get to here. We do these jumps. If you just hold forward and do jump, you should just barely touch the edge here and pull yourself up. There we go, finally. Okay, that was not too many tries. <laughs> now we gotta get across to the other side, so we jump. Please make it. Okay, cool. We're up here. This cylinder is actually where we fight Rahab, but we can't get in this way. Lucky for us, there's another way in right across over there. Now, if you fail this jump, you do the whole level over again. You fall in the water down there, you'll get unmade. You have to climb back out, back that way, where we very first came in. And there's a soul portal there, and you have to do everything over again. So just, you know, take this jump seriously. And don't fuck it up. Okay, good. And you definitely want to pull this chain. So that cutscene with the door opening is a little misleading. It looks like that's somewhere you can just walk to. It's not. It's down here, down these stairs, but it's under the water. So we're going to want to go spirit form to walk down through the water. And here we go. We're under it. And we're walking, and here we go. You can see right here, this is the door that opened, and these are the pillars. Now, we're already here. We're in the room where we fight Rahab. And Rahab is not difficult to fight. The real boss here is navigating these pillars. You have to... If at any time you fall in the water during the boss encounter, you have to climb back up these pillars to get up to the top to become real again. To become part of this physical world again. So what I recommend is jump and glide. Because if you just try to plane jump, you're gonna run over to the other side. Jump and glide gives you a bit more control, it kind of slows you down, and it makes you land just in one spot without continuing to run. Okay, so we're up here, we're gonna become real, but before we do that real quick, you see these portholes all around the room. What we're going to do is use our new telekinetic blast ability and we're going to shoot out all of these windows to let the sunlight in and that'll kill Rahab. That's the basic boss strategy.
Raphael. It's a weird and cool effect Aha. they have on the voice. You have adapted well to your environment. For one so maladjusted. Do not mock me, Raphael. You of all of us should respect the power bestowed by a limitation overcome. Cain said you would come. You speak with the murderer? You would do well to mind your blasphemous tongue. What more did he tell you? That you would destroy me. I will indeed. But tell me, before I tear your soul from its moorings, do you know what we were before Cain spawned us? Human. Seraphan Rahab, the antithesis of all we ever believed. Does it matter? We were lost. He saved us. Saved us? From what? From ourselves. <laughs> I love that little exchange. Gotta keep moving though, because he will mess you up. Oh well. He has a tendency to just tag you. Oh, come on. I'm just... I mean, you can mostly ignore him, but I do want to get a bit more time out of any given... Oh my god, stop auto-targeting. It messes me up every time he hits me. Wow. Wow. Big hit there. Probably gonna end up in the spirit world here in a sec. Dude, just come on. Almost done. It's cool. If he puts me into the spirit world, we just climb back up. Oh, we made it. <laughs> that was all of them. Man, when I played this the first time, it took many tries to figure out that trick. <laughs> you can't hit him. You can't do anything to him. Your telekinetic blast it seems like it would work on him. He just laughs it off. You can't get in the water and fight him at all. He just knocks you around. It's very easy once you know the trick, though. Just like a lot of old games. You have overcome your former vulnerability to water's touch. Immersion in water will no longer dissolve your physical body, enabling you to swim to areas heretofore beyond your reach. Super good. So now we can swim. Oh, that feels so good. Okay, now. We want to go... We don't want to leave yet. There's some else here that's worth our time so we're gonna go grab it real quick we're gonna swim back up and I want to try to take the shortcut ish way <laughs> of getting there I don't want to have to go back through the whole level from the start so I'm gonna try and see if I can make this happen if I fall in oh well beyond the maelstrom of the abyss a subterranean tunnel leads northward to the clan territory of your brother, Dumas. Endowed with Rahab's soul, you may swim to gain entry where your progress was previously impeded. Super good. Okay, let's jump back across to this roof. And let's try to make a way somewhat back this way. Yes, good. Uh, yeah, I don't care to go through the trouble of heading back the full-on way. We're just going to go down here, the way we're familiar with, coming back into that main chamber. Let's, uh, let's just eat these guys because they can come back, and I they're just a hassle. When you're trying to push through a gate and they hit you and it interrupts your ability to do this... Uncool. Now that we can swim, there are underwater soul portals that we didn't have access to before. Interesting. So around on the other side... Oh god, this guy. On the other side of here, boom, there's a glass. Telekinetic blast it, open it up, now we can go through. That Rahabim is still chasing us. He's behind us. I can hear him. 
feel him. Um, the, the hairs on the back of my neck are standing up. I can feel him right there. Uh. <laughs> no! Get away from me! Okay. Go through here. Go down these stairs. There's gonna be another stained glass we can bust. Yes. See how it's like a picture of the reaver and some fire? Well, kinda. That's what it's supposed to evoke anyway. So in this room... We are going to get the reaver and some fire, basically. So, originally there were going to be a lot more elemental reaver upgrades that were planned. This is the only one that actually made it in the game. But this is a cool upgrade to get. This elemental forge is tuned to the soul reaver's energy. Once baptized in this primordial flame, the blade may be imbued with fire at any future time. So what he means by imbued with fire at any future time is whenever I find an, an already existing fire burning in the world somewhere, I can dip the reaver in it and get it to be fire imbued like it is right now. If I go into the spirit world, or if I go into the damn water right here, as you see, it loses its fire adaptation. But when it's on fire, man, it's strong. It just, like, burns the crap out of all the enemies, and you can just kill them. I think you can even just blow them up by just hitting them like this. You don't have to actually do the, the impale move to blow them up. It definitely makes it a lot easier to kill bad guys when you have the fire reaver upgrade going. So, okay, uh, there was one more thing I wanted to do. There, I need one more health piece to level up, and it's pretty easy to access it from here. Not from here, specifically, but with the upgrades I have now. So, let's go take care of that real quick. Okay, here we are. Back in Melkaia's place. We were here very recently, even we jumped up that wall to get the first or one of the first health pieces so from here if you look down there you can see there's kind of a tunnel leading off to that side we're gonna want to go there we can go we can swim here or we can go into the spirit world and just walk here it's kind of the same speed either way, really. I don't see it being any faster to go into the spirit world. But yeah, there's a climbing wall here. So now that we, you know, with the climbing, we have access to this. I guess we could have come here before going to see Rahab. But I was already there. I wanted to handle it. If you played Blood Omen, you might be familiar with this place. That's Nepraptor's Retreat, Guardian of the Mind. So it looks like his skull, he, well, the, this top piece of the skull has fallen. Oh god, I got hit. Fell down. That's cool. Convenient for us. Now we can get up. So awkward platforming continues in this episode with scaling up Nupreptor's retreat. So. There's a. Uh, there's actually more here than just a health piece. There's also a glyph. I don't have any of the other glyphs yet. Like when I hit the, the menu here, you can see I have the shift planes glyph, but you see those white dots are placeholders for other glyphs you can get. And Eldritch energy to cast them, which is essentially mana. Uh, well, we actually just, we passed by one relatively recently there in Melkaia's place, there was the Glyph of the Mind, another Nepraptor sculpture that uh, 
would give us the Force Glyph, which is basically like an AoE Kinetic Blast. Okay. I'm trying to concentrate here a little bit. There we go. Don't want to fall down and make this a huge waste of time. Oh yeah, I wasn't full on soul. Let's, uh, let's fill up on souls. There we go. Okay. Do I need to use that or can I just make it without... Well, it works. No! Oh no! Oh, okay. Try again. And we're back. Okay. Don't fuck it up. There we go. There we, there we go. Need some time here to think, so I want to blow this guy up. Okay, we want to go over there. Get up here. I don't know, we can do better than that. Awesome textures, bro. Okay, and I know we can get up there too. Yes. Good, good. Now where are we headed? is super awkward <laughs> with the weird limitations we have on the camera. We have one button that will sweep the camera to right behind us, but the camera is still auto-adjusted a lot of the time just by whatever the game logic is that does that. So where are we? Get up here. Yes, good. I think we've done it. We've traversed the difficult part, at least. Uh, we were... S I don't even remember what I was going on about. It was just... babbling. Kaya and his sick-ass zombie vampires. Okay. Now we're up in... the retreat. <laughs> Ah, that was great. This is where the skull bit fell down from. Love that wind noise. It's a joke. I don't love it. Okay. Let's get across. Don't fail. Awesome. Okay. And there you go, man. Life piece right up there. But there's also, down there, a door for one of the gates so we can get back here. Uh, I'm gonna grab the door because I might want to grab the glyphs maybe all probably just grab them all in like the second to last episode or something just to show how it can be done I don't I can use them ever like I just beat stuff with my fists or with soul reaver That's cool, we got that unlocked now, so we have options. Don't have to do all of that work again, climbing up through that retreat. We wanna go this way. Oh man, I fucked it up though. Yeah, you see? Oh. You cannot jump up off of that thing. That sucks. So I have to get back up there. And then I have to use my ability to shoot that stupid block out of the way. Alright. Be right back. Okay, good. We're back up on the damn platform. We want to... We want to push this stupid rock out of the way. There we go. Now we can actually climb this wall and get up to the top. Yeah, grab on. Okay, good. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, my God. So getting back up there? Man, why couldn't I be that good? Completely flawless. Why couldn't I be that good the first time recording it? 
but whatever. Anyway, more health, always awesome. Uh, and then if you jump across here and you go back to this other platform area, and now that that block is pushed out of the way, it's very easy to get back here. But yeah, up this way, this leads you to a long and involved block puzzle that gives you the glyph. I think this is the stone glyph. We'll come back, though. For now, what we want to do is make our way back to the abyss, the, the cliffs above the abyss, and head into Dumas territory. Though, I think, yeah, that's going to be something that we do in another day. So guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. This is... I don't know. Some of you may have played this game. Others of you may have never even heard of this game. But this was... This was so good. Ah, oh, man. I played, it, I played it so many times when I was a kid. It's one of my favorite all-time games. And I've just been loving it. And I hope you're enjoying it. And thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next episode.